Game of the Week, presented by Turkish Airlines, Nike, and Intersport. The Turkish Airlines EuroLeague returns for 2012 tonight with a new phase, the top 16, and a classic Game of the Week. EA7 Emporio Armani against Panathinaikos Athens, the defending champion in beautiful Milan, Italy. The hosts from Milan had to win their last two regular season games under do-or-die pressure just to make it this far. Every single game is expected to be a tough battle in the top 16 phase because every team is part of the elite of European basketball. I think it's even use, unuseful to talk too much about their strength. I mean, everybody knows them and everybody respects them for what they did and for the, what they are still doing or, and the, what they will Everybody believed that they would be able to do. So they are, of course, a very strong team, and, and uh, whoever played them, got to play at his top level to, to compete against them. Coach Obradovic wants his players to show a good game approach and is happy he can count on Perperoglu and Sarsaris after they both have been sidelined. Every game in top 16 is very important. Of course, the first game, you know, if you play good, first of all, you take confidence and uh, after that everything will be easier. But anyhow, we must go game by game and of course tomorrow is a very, very important game for us. Two very important players for us. I'm very happy, first of all, because Strato it was uh, about six months and now he started to play and uh, he held the team. He's a very important player for us, same like Costa Tatsaris. Costa it was something like one month out. They need the time and uh, with them we are a really different team. Antonis Fotsis won eight Greek titles and three EuroLeague crowns wearing the green jersey of Pana and now is going to face his former team. Yes, you know, it's a different feeling uh, before I think the game. I played for Panathinaikos for many years. Uh, but, you know, this belongs uh, before when the game starts. It's like uh, any other game. For sure, Panathinaikos is a very good team and a very tough opponent and uh, we have to be also very good in the court to have some chances to win. Everyone is ready for the tip-off at the Mediolanum Forum. The teams are getting into the top 16. And Diamante is launching from way downtown to get it started with a three-pointer. After taking the lead immediately with a triple by Diamantidis, Pana increases the gap thanks to Mike Batiste who scores eight points early in the game. Antonelli inside this time puts it down with a reverse. Looking inside, gets it to Gentile with a fadeaway. What a shot by Alessandro Gentile. While Alessandro Gentile reduces the margin for Milano, it's Romain Sato who scores five points in a row, helping Pana get it up by 20 at half time. Antonico's trying to attack Sato from downtown, knocks one in. Takes the ball out, now backs in on Rocca. Turnaround jumper, Steven Smith, nothing but net. The visitors try to fly away with Smith and Perperoglu before Gentile gets two points with a one-handed dunk. This period begins with four points by Sarunas Jazikevicius and the gap remains almost unchanged for the rest of the game. Until Nick Kalatis gets the final bucket and sets the score at the buzzer. Panathinaikos wins 57-78.